And because I want this uh, show to be uh, educational and thought-provoking and not just a bit of stand-up, I will, of course, be touching on the most violent and destructive animal on the planet. The giant gorilla, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at him. Uh, so, some people think the most violent and destructive animal on the planet is man. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> look at him. That would rip a man to pieces. <laughs> think, look. Ah. Look at the size of him. <laughs> They're buildings. God, no man would... Uh, the worst, most prolific mass murderer would... Uh, what's it? Dr Harold Shipman wouldn't be able to... He, we're not, how would he get that in an armchair when its kids were out? It wouldn't... <laughs> he couldn't. He couldn't. Ah, fuck off! Fuck off! Look at it. Worst dictators in the world. Who's killed the most? Pol Pot. He's, he's killed the most. 100,000... You know who Pol Pot is? The bloke in charge of Cambodia. Um, he killed a hundred thousand people. He'd shit himself if he saw that. <laughs> so, this is absolutely true. He, he, he rounded up anyone he thought was intellectual and had them executed. Absolutely true. A hundred thousand of them. And how he told whether someone was intellectual or not was whether they wore glasses. If they're that clever, take them off when they see him coming. <laughs> okay, they're thick. Don't they? They're thick. <laughs> they're, mm, yeah, well, kick it up. Look out. Here comes Pol Pot. All right? <laughs> Yeah, 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 not too bad, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, lovely, it is, yeah. Him over there, oh, oh, going through, see that, yeah, see that. Fucking wanker. <laughs> but, that's, I could solve the world's problems if I cared. Oh. <laughs> uh, not all gorillas are that big, obviously, that's, but they're still pretty big, you see a, Mountain gorilla up close in the zoo or, you know, in the wild. Kill it before it... No, I'm joking. They're very, <laughs> they're very passive. They're honestly very passive. Totally vegetarian. Um, unlike some great apps like chimps and bonobos, they get a bloodlust, they hunt a monkey. A gorilla will only ever eat vegetation. It will never attack unless provoked. And um, this was illustrated quite well a few years ago. Do you remember when that uh, little toddler fell in the gorilla enclosure at the zoo? Uh, he was about three. And uh, he fell down and he um, knocked himself unconscious. And this big silverback, his name was Jambo, just started walking towards him. And the people he was with and the people at the zoo, they were going spare, they were screaming, they didn't know what to do, they were at their wits end. They filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't completely lose the plot. <laughs> they probably figured if we lose him, we make 250 quid. <laughs> I mean, insurance, not a complete disaster. <laughs> Send it to that Jerry Bill or that big one off Emma, what's her name, Ermin Trude. Um, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Um, I don't watch like that. But the, um, the, the mountain gorilla came and sat with him, just looked after him until the, the authorities got in, shooed him away, and it was fine. The kid was absolutely fine, and uh, they didn't send it off. But it was fine, it was a happy ending, and that's fairly typical. I was watching that with my nan, and she was getting on a bit then. Mm. And, uh, well, <laughs> she's dead now, but. Mm. And. Uh, it's true. She said, she said, look at that, he was lucky, because usually they gobble them straight up. <laughs> usually. <laughs> How many kids has she seen thrown to the gorillas in her time? <laughs> she also said, right, ah, uh, she's dead now, but she was on the way then, and, um, <laughs> uh, on the neck up. But, uh, she, uh, do you remember the Strange Ways riots about ten years ago? and the prisoners were up on the roof for about three days and the guards and police couldn't do anything. They were, just, uh, they were ripping the place to pieces. They were putting the tiles off and they were just throwing it down for about three days. She went, look at them. They should be locked up. <laughs> Very rare, luckily, giant gorilla. Um, no, uh, one official sighting, New York, 1930s. Um, <laughs> made the news because it grabbed a starlet of the time, Faye Ray. Right, she's, She's pretty big. <laughs> I used to uh, think we evolved from apes. Um, Darwin's theory of evolution through natural selection seemed pretty watertight. But in, in doing research for this show, um, I've, I came across a theory um, that deviates from Darwin's, and, and I believe that. It's, I just found it in a dusty old book in a, in a library. It's called The Bible. <laughs> 
And uh, Darwin was wrong. Um, we didn't evolve. God made us. Um, so I just want to explain to you exactly how that happened. OK. The first book of Moses, commonly called Genesis. Start at the beginning. Um, it's a fairly big book, but... <laughs> Friday, isn't it? So, <laughs> lock the doors. <laughs> OK. Took me four years to get this platform. Now they listen. <laughs> just think if I'd have blown it, just going door to door. Right, OK. Um, some of the things you, you, you'll hear um, do sound a little bit far-fetched, I admit that. I thought it was a bit, but um, then I found out that the other name for the Bible is the Gospel, so it is all true. <laughs> so, <laughs> luckily, clue is in the title. OK. <laughs> come on, come on, it's the Bible. OK. Chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. It doesn't go into detail. Um, <laughs> He doesn't need to explain to you. You probably understand it, because he's got a massive brain, yours is little, and, he, and you go, what? He goes, don't what? Just trust me. I, I, I did. Um, and also, if he ex explained it to you, it would like, ruin the enigma. Do you know what I mean? You'd go, that's amazing. He just said, it's a trick. And you go, oh. So it's like seeing... <laughs> no, it's like David Blaine did something, and you go, oh, that is real magic. And you go, no, I'm just standing on one leg and lifting the other up. <laughs> Easy. So... Keeps his cards very close to his chest, God. Good luck. Good luck to him. He can do what he wants. He can do anything, so he can do what he wants. OK, here we go. In the beginning, God created the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Bit dark, he sorted that out. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Huh? Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> eh? Oh, come on, that's amazing. He just made... He made light up. Just, it was dark, it was nothing before. It's not like he saw some on holiday and went, that'll be good back on Earth. He made it up. Do you not, you're... It, he invented, there was no, there was nothing to go by. It wasn't like there was twilight and he went, let's have that a little bit brighter. He... <laughs> he just went, let there be light. And, there were, and at the speed of light, he didn't go, let there be light. Come on, I'm busy, it's the first day, I've got a lot to do. I've only got seven days, it just, do you know what I mean? He, and he probably didn't have to say it, he did say it, but he could have gone, mm, that's exactly what I was thinking of, brilliant. <laughs> do you know what I mean? He, He's amazing. What are you? Free your minds. Listen, right? Okay. <laughs> so he did the light, invented it, which means that he created the heaven and the earth in the dark. <laughs> Fucking hell! How, how good is that? I'd have gone right. Let's have a little bit of light. Let's see what we're doing. Right. <laughs> I need some planets. Um, 